And a very good afternoon to you and welcome to Leica YouTube's meetings. My name is Deep Raja and today we're going to be talking to Shito and Shaila, who are not only directors of the International Indian Women's Empowerment Group, but have got some very, very strong messages to point out to us all today. But before I start, I'd like one of you to recite the poem that you discussed earlier, please. No means no on sexual abuse by Shaila Khan. The heavens seem to be crying as if something wonderful is dying. I didn't expect this yet. I didn't expect this yet. I wish he should have wait. He just pulled me through. He just pulled me through when I stop my mind thinking about you. I still remember the pain. I still remember the pain when I gave up in vain. The heavens seems to be crying. <sighs> Thank you. Very powerful stuff there. And I think that particular poem says it all. I do, if you want a moment to compose yourself, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, Thank just you give so me a minute much. to sure. start from. I will, of course. First of all, I'm going to be talking to yourself. Now, tell me a little bit about the role of the Asian woman, the international Asian woman. How has it changed, please? Yeah, hi. Good afternoon, viewers. And this is Sheetal Kamdarya. Uh, I come from uh, India, Mumbai. And uh, what he has asked me, I would start with my own personal experience what i have been going through in india in mumbai i was a criminal solicitor and believe me being a criminal solicitor surrounded by all men is not an easy task at all what they don't accept you as one of them coming and standing in front of them and practicing so they don't want a women around, believe me. <laughs> oh, that. So how has the role of the Asian woman changed now in the workforce? Let's put it that way. Yes. Now, uh, what I see nowadays is they have started to accept us as one of their part, not as much as it should be. But yes, we can definitely see the changes coming through, coming through all the social medias and things going around. I would say that they have accepted them as a boss on them at certain front, maybe Them not meaning them. women, yes? Yes, yes, so, of course. <laughs> they have started taking women as their bosses and started taking a bit of, uh, you can, I can't say the boss being a boss on them, but yes, started accepting them, hearing them out, taking their views into considerations and putting them into action. Uh, that is what I see in today's workforce when I go out into offices and meet people around. Going back a little bit and looking back, traditionally, the role of a lot of Asian women has been to listen to their husbands, has been to always take the opinion of their husbands, has always been taking a back seat, right? Yes. You've seen it in Bollywood films through to cultural issues. I don't mind who answers this particular question, but do you feel that Bollywood now has a role to play to change the attitudes of men and the way they not only speak to women, but to a certain extent address problems that women face from bringing up a family to going to work at the same time through to even perhaps even pleasing their families as well. Do you think the roles change? And I, I, I put that to both of you because I know you come from both ex different households and different experiences. Please, uh, I'll let's start. start. Up and I'll pass then okay. the question to Shaila. Sure. Uh, yes, I do agree that Bollywood plays a major role and previously they had shown women as a very submissive character, listening to the in-laws, listening to the husband and just doing G, 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 which has now changed and there are women-oriented movies that shows that women is a powerful person herself she can take her own decisions and she can put them across and she single-handedly can also run a family a single mother can bring up her kids her house her job and she can be a good mother as well okay and yes the men's have taken them the women the wife into their stride 
and taking their opinion and working along on the same part together. There are problems. I'm not saying the in-laws have totally accepted that, but they are also trying to change, not fully c come over it. But there must be barriers it. that have been involved. For example, let me take give yes. you, a, you, you may have a mother-in-law who perhaps has come from a traditional family. So when you try to break that mold, let's say, yes. she should learn to cook, clean and take care of the kids. Yes. You're almost fighting before you've actually begun the battle. Yes. How do you get through? Yes. Please go I, ahead. I want to uh, give an example, like one of my friend who's a, like a top class engineer, like she has got a good amount of salary. We're living in Bahrain. So from Bahrain, there is no direct flight to Jaipur. So good family, good earning, husband is also engineer, you know, everything is top class, very happening. From Delhi, she has to travel through taxi. She has to change her clothes. She has to wear a sari. She has to wear a, like a proper, you know, it has to be like a pallu. Mm. So still it's happening. It's happening, you know, and she from uh, and it's so difficult for her because like she's not used to it, but she has to follow. I'm not saying it's rule. It's it's about Jonki ki ka culture hai. To wahan pe husband bhi kuch nahi bolta hai. To aisa nahi hai ki. Of course, I totally agree ki things are changing. Of course, it's changing. But aaj bhi bahut si cheeze hai. So I think it will take time. Acha, jaise aapne baat kari Bollywood uh, Bollywood movies. How many movies who are women's oriented are doing good? Not much, like when it comes to a box office. Yes. If you ask me about Thappar, how, how much did it do? It was just like an average movie because the society is not accepting it. You know, ye baate bahut achhi lagte. now we are talking about all those things. But in a real scenario, when you have faced the world, 50 to 40, I, so sorry, like 60 to 40, that's what I can say. So, it's changing. Yeah. Kabhi, Okay. Let's not mention too many film okay. names because we could get into a problem there. But I understand what you're saying yeah. because we haven't got somebody to defend our film. So it's not fair to use this. Yeah. But I, I get that point. However, if you look at moving on a little bit, sports. Now, there's some very, very talented women in sports, especially in India. If you yes. take volleyball and uh, Gabaddi and, 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 and now cricket. Cricket. Uh, cricket has now suddenly gone up and up and up. Now, I know that you wanted to talk to me about that. Tell me what or do you feel that the, the, the problem lies when it comes to sport and men and women? Where are the basic problems here? I would say the first of all point goes for funding from the government. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. I, I don't want to be biased on that, but yes, they, they do have funding issues. As if we talk about uh, hockey or cricket, when it comes to the men's cricket or men's hockey, the funding which they get from the government and the funding which they get from the for the women cricket or women hockey, they really have to prove themselves time over again and again that we also can do well. The reason is because when the Indian India cricket team was over here, I was sitting with them in the pavilion, I was sitting with their coach and we had a very, very lengthy discussion on it myself. I have met all the Indian So funding so funding's one problem. What would you say is another problem? Let's let's ask yourself, Ashish. I believe the audience. Audience? How do you but mean? Audience means that the uh, what do you say, the whole stadium gets full when it's a men's it's a men's match. What what happened when it's like a woman's match? Why there is no one? You tell so, me why why is that? That, because they don't have interest. Because they think that women's you know, they don't have that strength and they don't entertain or you know, like they don't pull out the, those many sexes or fours, that that can be, you know, that can be but, one of the But if I'm correct reasons. in thinking, you've you've actually done quite a lot for the cricket, yes. world of cricket. What have you done um, as a woman to actually change the attitude a lot of men have when it comes to sport? I have literally fight for it, honestly. Tell me about it. For, what did you do? Uh, my girls, like... I was a Bahrain's cricket manager, women's team. My girls, they have never got the proper shoes because they used to play on like a sand. Shoes? So, yes. Proper okay. shoes means like a proper the cricket, cricket shoes. shoes. Okay. Proper cricket shoes. And uh, not many, you know, and a lot of people, they don't have interest, and especially the directors, you know, they want to encourage, but uh, no one was coming forward to, you know, to spend the money on women's team because they believe that no one has got the interest. 
so that's how my role was entered in it and i had literally you know tough time to uh, to had a chat with or to convince that yes my women can do it and we, when i formed the team we have a 11 year old to a 55 year old so it was like a mix of women and within 3 months of time i had more than 40 players in my team and we played one of the first international tour to oman we made six world records guinness world of book records uh plus we won the icc social impact of the year award last year to 2022 for bahrain so within 3 months everything drastically changed we have got the sponsors so it's not about men or women it's just about just giving them more and more importance funds as like my colleague she has said i totally agree to that that if we have fun and when the women's cricket arrived mm. we got the two big sponsors in bahrain nissan and one more so the the point here is do you think that as a a woman as as ladies as the female uh representatives of cricket do you think that that has actually impacted the sport society in a good way yes of course so um very last on 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 the situation of cricket do you think that you you've sort of changed the way men especially asian men perceive asian women when it comes to sport yes i totally agree to it because it it does have make an impact mm. how it's about the equal opportunities when the women cricket rised yeah. it created equal opportunities for the women too like they started the roles for the an empiring you know they have like special classes and uh, plus for the various courses like on coaching and all so yes i will i totally agree right moving on from cricket because i think that's <laughs> we 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 we've done cricket quite quite well uh how do you feel and i'll ask this to yourself when it comes to the asian or people in india pakistan where the, the asian culture does still seem to be steeped in a little bit of some people call it sexism yes uh women has role is this men's role is this but as time has gone on there's more and more people fighting for it for example if the prime minister of india or the prime minister of pakistan they were both women at one point in azir bhutto in dera gandhi very strong powerful women yet nobody was uh, able to change that can we not produce cultures where the culture and the modern day confuse together and therefore a woman can still have or adopt the cultural traditions and yet be as independent as say our lovely lady here who's happily filming us her career yet have a whole family life can we not have that yes we can definitely have that why not when like a mother if i am a mother i get up in the morning I do work yes but when I get up in the morning my first duty is to cook get the children ready leave them to school that time I'm a mother that I'm doing my traditional role of a wife and a mother and from there when I go move on to office I play a role of a employee a CEO or a director or anything whatever you are at in your office and when back from the office again switch your role over when you go back home evening you're taking care of your kids studies you're taking care of your in-laws who are ailing maybe they need some special care you take them to the hospital you take them to their appointment so there again yes, but i'm going to stop you for a second yes. because you're talking about a lady living in london no. or the uk i'm talking about in, the, in india okay. can you still do that yes because i will tell you of my own household why i go outside my own sister in law she is a, a very famous blogger in mumbai so in the morning she does all these things and then she does her work then she comes back again she goes and picks her kid from the school where all the help is getting she's getting all the help but she prefers to be her mother and play her duties so she goes pick her kids come back take her to classes come back cook in the house because we stay she stays in a joint family so again there are in laws so she take care of my mother she takes care of my father and then she d- does her the wife duties when her husband comes back home so what or how do you feel the international uh, women's empowerment group has helped move that along i think they are getting influenced to a bit with the western culture saying there where husband and wife are both in peril just because he's a husband he cannot clean dishes or he cannot cook no he does equally as she does because when she goes to the office yeah even she is a one of the earning member of the family 
So even she can cook, even he can cook, even she can clean vessel, she he can do the same thing. So I think that Western is a bit influencing them and they are going on their progress. I'm not saying that entire thing has changed. It will take a lot of time. Mm. But yes, step by step, they are going there. Okay, moving on again, looking at careers. And I'll, I'll, I'll focus on yourself because we discussed this very briefly earlier on. Looking at careers, uh, when a lady is a director, a boss, a person with a team under her who are perhaps mainly men, it's very hard, especially with Asian men, uh, some Asian men, not all, uh, to, to, to actually give orders and get them responded to. Do you find when in your career as a teacher with teams under you, it has been harder for you to get work done by men when you're giving out the order or the task as compared to say, women of course it happened why because it happened recently with me because a man of someone who has got a like a job for like for the last 20 years and a woman like me or anyone like just a woman who comes just like for for a month and who's started giving orders so for his it's like what's going on i can't take order from a woman i can't have you know it has that ever been happening. told to you yes you know, what, somebody is, said, is, a man has said to you, yes, uh, they, you're a woman, I can't take an order. Yes, it happened with me. And, you know, wow. I think <laughs> there is a best part as a woman mm. that we get the vibes, if it's positive or negative. From the first day itself, I knew that there is something going in his mind, you know. And he started like some backbiting or like, you know, I, I think it, ha it, ha it, it, it happened everywhere. Uh, after that... Uh, he has to lost his job because uh, I believe my directors was really understand like understandable and plus they knew uh, they knew m my vision was very clear that what I'm going to do with my team and at last like then he has to lose his job so that was that, that, that wasn't a good idea no obviously not but that was a cultural thing wasn't it yes I think totally right totally. so let me ask you this um, put it this way. A lot of women obviously bring up children, bring up sons. Somebody could say that if you bring up a son thinking in his mind that, you know, a woman is here and a, a man is there, he is going to grow up like that. So some people could say it is actually the fault of a lady or a woman because she's bringing up her child or son to grow into a man that thinks I am in charge, not you. So how would you feel if somebody blamed women for the way some men have been turned out? I would say till now, because uh, what our mothers were brought up, where they did not have so much exposure to the world outside, maybe somewhere down the line, they, it was getting passed on from generation to generation. Maybe she did not have that thinking, but subconsciously, when she used to teach the son, somewhere she used to say that, okay, you are the head, you have to run the family, you have to look after the, your wife. Maybe she's not earning, but you have to earn and run the whole entire family on your shoulder. But in today's time, the mom says, no, if, she, if the lady who's coming in, she's getting married, she looks upon you as a equal partner who helps her in everything she does, maybe from household, maybe from job, may, or taking any decision of the family. For the family right so you should always take her into consideration when you are taking a decision make her sit make her understand the situation ask her opinion maybe you don't work on it but absolutely uh, but how far do you think that the asian male and asian society even though we've seen it change has actually accepted that no actually if you go into deep, deep down into the houses and see it isn't. It looks very good to you. Quite a strong no there I got. Quite, quite a strong uh, anti-vibe there. <laughs> which, which is telling me, personally, is telling me that we still have, or you still have in your organisation, a long way to go. Yes, we definitely. I would say forget about going back home in India. Year itself. Year itself. In, I have seen in my own family, because I come from India, I'm from Indian origin. My in-laws are from African migrants. They are not ready to accept me as a woman who's working outside or I can't have a very strong opinion. They never thought that I would give my opinion very strongly. They thought, okay, she'll listen to us. She'll be down. 
माँ पानी चाहिए Right, I've even yes. seen them on the television. Yes, yes. There are women Asian actors and actresses who are doing. The only way I can say this are love scenes on TV, which was just never done before. Right, but they're all actors. There are Asian women politicians going out there who uh, want to talk about politics and really want to change things, and there are Asian women presenters and DJs. Surely they have broken the barrier. What barrier? Do I know? Tour get. They mm. must have broken it to yes. get through. But on the other hand, you're saying no because the men are still looking at their women as an extension of home help. So with those two clashes in this country and abroad, how can we? Or well, I'm asking you as an organisation. How can you, as an organisation, break those barriers, fuse the two good points? Because we don't need to look at the bad points all the time. I mean, if I had a daughter, for example, and she was a famous comedian, I'd be very proud of her. But if her husband suddenly said, "All right, get my cigarettes or get my," how do we change that still cultural feeling when but they become two different people? How can they lead one life rather than two? One life at home and one life on the stage. You tell me. Believe in rising others as well, not just you. Right. What Try does that mean? Try to support. Means that. How about you know in COVID, so many women they started their YouTube channels. Okay, and we generally get requests. Try to subscribe and like. How much time does it take to give just one like and one subscribe? Right. Hardly a second. But do we do that in real? our own relatives won't be doing it but other people like the stranger ones they would be doing it so it just is just an example like if you if you want to change the society so try to support and give rise at least to your nearby people like don't uh, you know don't look around like to uh, outside the world at least to your near one that's what look inside and how would you answer that i would say that um, it's a Tough one, but uh, yes, uh, we, we as in society over here at the moment, what we are doing is we are trying to push women as much as we can. Same way we are organization heads in India as well. Uh, I come from inspiring Indian women, mm. so we are we have started a e-commerce business only for women. We are the women who are not even very well done with the uh, the technology. We have our own technical team. We go to them. We help them. We teach them how to do it. We help them how to upload their products, sell, earn money for themselves. So same thing. We have started back home in India. Okay. And so, how does that? I, what I'm trying to ask you, and I'm going to be a little bit uh, difficult. How, how does it mean, for example, if you have a women's only taxi, if you have a women's only uh, e-commerce thing, if you have a women's only swimming pool, for example, what you're almost doing is, although it's a great idea because you're empowering them to the knowledge, but you're also segregating them from men. And men thinking, well, you know, they're just women; they don't understand. Whereas if you show them, hang on, I'm a woman, and I'm going to sit in this classroom with you, against you, alongside you, men. And challenge you. Maybe I could do better in the exam than you can. Wouldn't that be a better idea to show? I'm just wondering how that would almost prove to men that look, if I'm getting 98% in my exam and you're getting 75% in my in, in the same exam, mera the mark is a bit better than yours, isn't it? Would that not be better to have more women amongst men in those six scenarios to actually change their thinking? But what about the society? Are they paying equally to women when when it comes to men? You tell me. It's not happening. 
it's not happening even they are working like the same hours but still they are not getting the same pay so so it, how do we come back that how do we overcome that i mean as into, i i the mindset has to women. be changed the mindset i think uh, i what you're trying to say is that we can have some sessions in the offices somewhere where some people can come not we don't have to tell men that you have to sit in and have to listen and go through it no, no, no. but in a in a better way right in a one you know you have a, a general sessions where you talk debate have question of a, a question and answers and through that we try to tell them that you know take women into your stride make them sit next to you as today we are sitting next to you and giving this interview mm. that it itself shows that to be some about somewhere down the line it has we have gone one step up absolutely otherwise um, we wouldn't be here talking on this topic absolutely and i'm going to start to have to bring this meeting to a close but before i do first of all i think you've spoken both of you very very well on the idea of how you've gone forward with women and putting the asian woman let's say on the map i think that's great and i think that it's certainly given me some food for thought as a man or a gentleman to think how much more we have to look at women and uh, from from the way we speak through to the way we act around women a little bit more respect is is definitely on the cards but obviously at lyca and lyca gold we have a, a little tradition here of asking you your favorite song that we can play um and and you know what what would it be i both of you i want one track that you know we would play to make it and if you're going to say ye duniya agar mil bhi jaye to kya hai i'm moving you know come on don't use that one i would say the mardani song mardani song okay that should have i have got power. my own uh, like a family song which we usually sing together i've got my three kids fourth one is my husband so i've got four kids <laughs> <laughs> i see a roar of so laughter in the background here the... <laughs> long drive so we do this one जिंदगी मिलके बिताएंगे मेरे हिल गाके सुनाएंगे सो दिस वन इज फॉर द ऑडियंस आई डोंट यूजुअली अलाउ सिंगिंग ऑन माय इंटरव्यूज बट एज योर अ पोएट आई आई थिंक वी कैन लेट दैट वन गो डायरेक्टर्स बोथ ऑफ यू ऑफ आई आई डब्ल्यू इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वुमेन इंस्पायरिंग वुमेन दैट्स इट आई कैन ओनली थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग ऑन एंड रियली मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस होपफुली टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स हु आर आउट देयर हु आर गोइंग टू एक्चुअली थिंक hopefully a lot more about how they speak to women how their positions are when they are speaking to women in society and hopefully your work will continue to inspire them thank you both for coming on to lyca and i wish you all the very much and best of success thank, thank you thank you for having us thank you so much thank you so much bye bye